Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for making my son share his room with grandma for a few days. My husband, 40M and I, 40F snagged ourselves a three-bedroom house a few years back, right before the whole pandemic mess hit. We took the master bedroom, obviously, and our kids, back then 12F and 10M, got the other two rooms. We threw a nice double bed into the bigger room and a single bed into the smaller one. We told them they could pick their rooms, but whoever ended up in the bigger one might need to share or move out for visiting family. The kid in the smaller room would always get their own space. We almost never have family over, both my husband and I are only children, and our parents live far away. So we were kind of surprised when our older daughter picked the smaller room and our younger son chose the larger room. But whatever, they worked it out between themselves, seemed happy with their choice, and we left it at that. Fast forward to now, my kids are 15F and 12M, and we've got a long weekend coming up. My mom decided to visit. My husband and I were cool with it, we haven't seen her in ages. So I told my son that grandma would be staying for a few days and would be using his bed. Well, my son lost it. He flipped out about having to share his room with grandma, even if it's just for three nights and even if she's on an air mattress. He's all like, she smells funny. We reminded him of the original deal and offered to put the air mattress in the living room, but he wasn't having any of it. He said he'd lose all his privacy. His sister even offered to let him put the air mattress in her room, which was super generous of her, but he shot that down too. We even offered to let him put the air mattress in our room, but he was like, you, sharing a room with my parents, no thanks. Finally, I had to lay down the law. I told him, the deal was that if you got the bigger room, you'd have to give it up for visiting family sometimes, so, you're sleeping on an air mattress for these three nights, you can choose where, the living room, your room, or anywhere in this house, but you're doing it. Not long after, my husband came to me, and suggested that we just tell my mom to stay in a hotel instead. I asked him, and who's paying for that, she can't afford it, and we definitely can't swing it. He went quiet after that. Now he's calling me the bad guy for making our son give up his room for three nights and is suggesting I tell my mom to stay home, because apparently, none of us can afford it. So, here's the breakdown. Why don't we offer our bed to my mom? My husband has some serious back issues and can't manage sleeping on an air mattress. Plus, I'm sure you can see why it's not cool for him and my mom to share a bed while I'm on an air mattress. Not to mention, my mom would never let me give up my bed for her. Why doesn't my mom just sleep on the couch or air mattress? My mother is 83 years old, with a number of health conditions related to her age. There is no circumstance in which she could sleep comfortably on an air mattress or a couch. That's part of the reason for his nicer bed that it was intended as a guest bedroom on rare occasions. Of course, no one expected the Penini to appear and make rare occasions into no occasions for two years. We were expecting a long weekend every four to six months, from 2019 on. Well, plans change. Why can't my son and daughter switch rooms? My daughter is willing to help out in a pinch but she's pretty smug about her room choice and doesn't want to switch. I'm not going to force her to swap rooms just to satisfy my son. I'd be a hypocrite if I held my son to his deal but broke my word to my daughter. I totally get that a 12-year-old needs privacy. We've had that talk. I even checked with my husband if there was anything going on between him and our son that might change things, but he said no. So, as far as I know, that's a close case. If anyone's interested, my DMs are apparently blowing up, but just so you know, I'm not looking for drama. I'm just trying to figure out if I'm being unreasonable here. Comment The fob I do not get these ITA responses. Just because someone has kids doesn't mean kids have to have a private bedroom. Kids sharing a bedroom is still super common and not indicative of someone being a good parent. While it is a slight inconvenience to give up his room, it's not like they are putting him in a tent outside. Air mattresses are comfortable and grandmother, depending on her age, may not be able to get on or off one on the floor. Three nights isn't a big deal. A kid doesn't get to control the house period and needs to learn about compromising, long-term obligations, and sharing. Three nights out of two years is nothing. The suggestion for the parents to give up their room is laughable. You do not negotiate with terrorists. My gut reaction is the kid wants privacy so much because at 12 years old he is waking up with a hard on every morning and wants to take care of it. 
Your husband can have a private conversation with him about that if you so chose. Your son was given three very nice options. He can pick which room, but he will be on an air mattress. Also do you not share a room when you go on family vacations? You will have to share a dorm room in college more than likely as singles are uncommon. Tinuville. The rules of me being allowed to have a queen bed as a teen was that it was the guest bed when people came over. Eventually we moved to a house with a guest room, but it wasn't the end of the world. Ifab 144. To be honest I'm surprised the kid isn't already falling asleep on the couch from playing video games. My family was far away from everyone due to a job transfer, so we always traveled to visit them since they were in the same state, and we'd sleep four people in one room. My grandmother was in a retirement home in a little studio and I remember my brother and I begging to spend the night while my parents went to stay back at my aunt's. He slept on the small love seat and I slept on a mat under the kitchen table, and it was awesome because grandma let us have pizza for breakfast. She died when I was seven and I wish I had more time for memories. Passing through. Same here. I was a spoiled only child who got two rooms, one big bedroom, and one box room to store all my books and the rule was that if guests came, they got my queen bed and I got a camp bed in the book room. Even as an utterly ruined teenager that only seemed fair to me. Akat 116. People in the comment section saying, he is 14, he needs privacy. I am a teenager myself and I can assure you that three days of a guest sharing a room isn't invading privacy especially considering he is the one with the larger room. Also the op did provide him with various options. It is not as if he was forced to stay with his grandmother. He is throwing childish tantrum and sounds like an entitled, privileged person. You are not the ah uh op. -uh. you sound more reasonable than a lot of parents including mine. Your son however is the ah uh, and a big one. La Giavain. Also I'm L for privacy, but he won't d if he needs to sleep on an air mattress for three days. That's not taking away his privacy, that's holding him accountable for his choices. Ente. Secret sample. Ente. Is your husband serious? How can he let your son dictate the rules of the house? You're the parent, and it's only three friggin' nights. Put your foot down on this one. Make your son sleep in the garage for all you care. But be sure your mom is comfortable and happy during her visit. Stand your ground. Starcasm. That's what I don't get. Of course the kid is throwing a fit he's a kid. But the husband. Is he trying to raise a little asshole? The son agreed, he has to keep his word, even if it's uncomfortable. That's a huge lesson to teach a kid, even if it didn't involve grandma's comfort. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.